I'm ready. Okay. <coughs> 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 Just gotta get my voice ready and prepped. Hey guys, it's Gigi, and I have Dima here. Shorty, Shorty Gordy. Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> Redo that. That's because that's cringe. No, 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 that's funny. That's really cringe. No, that was perfect. No. <laughs> <laughs> you good? I'm good. You sure? Yep. Are we ready to Let's start? Let's do this. Okay. Hey guys, so it's Gigi, and I have Dima here, aka Shorty Gordy. And today he's going to be talking about mindfulness. Cool. Yeah, mindfulness. Are you ready? It's a cool thing. Yeah. It's a it's a really cool thing that I stumbled upon maybe like two years ago max. I was walking through Barnes and Noble, the, the bookstore, right? And there's this just on display they have certain books featured. And there was this one book that was staring right at me. Like literally staring because like the cover of it had an eye. Like the <laughs> Illuminati oh, like, eye. Like, on like the all seeing eye. Yes, yes, basically. <laughs> Um, and it just had like these big letters, mindfulness. I was like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, this is like the universe telling me like get this book because it, it had been like a like up and coming theme all throughout my life at that you know in that season. Mm -hmm. So I just bought that book. I started reading this book, and uh, it it's very interactive in that it has a lot of exercises on how to practice mindfulness in order to kind of get you guys to understand what I'm talking about more let's like I want to actually read the definition of mindfulness so it's defined as a mental state achieved by focusing on one's awareness on the present moment while calmly acknowledging and accepting one's feelings thoughts and bodily sensations used as a therapeutic technique this is your moment to just be to exist and to be present mm -hmm. so right? that's kind of like something that taps into self-love too Definitely, so you have I think so. For you. Yeah, because yeah. you become in tune with yourself throughout the whole process. Mm -hmm. I think that, like right now in the 21st century, mm -hmm. 2019, it's like it's, you know, technology is at an all-time high. You know, Absolutely. we've got a bunch yeah. of scientific medical discoveries, mm -hmm. a lot of great things, right? Mm -hmm. But what tends to happen um, is that the further we advance in all of these, you know, scientific and technological stuff, like we got smartphones and, mm -hmm. and video cameras and computers and just, you know, Alexas, and we tend to sort of outsource all of our energy to that so, stuff. I'm not sure about that. Alexa heard no. you. <laughs> no, Alexa, we, we, did, we weren't talking to you, we are talking about you. In the last, maybe, century even mm -hmm. i don't know just as, as as we get more books and tv and media and film and all that stuff like we tend to see an increase in mental health issues mm -hmm. a lot of anxiety a lot of depression you know ocd you know th things like that yeah um and i think this comes as a result of just not being in tune with yourself not knowing oh, yeah. what you want not knowing who you are your attention is constantly on something like you're either yeah. on your phone or watching tv yeah. or just a lot it's of never on, on you yeah it's, it's not you. it's not you discovering yourself and a lot of people have trouble being alone after experiencing you know the outer oh, world oh yeah like a lot of people are scared to be alone they don't know what to do mm -hmm. when they're alone in fact that's really what i'm doing you know for the most part here in florida mm -hmm. like i'm visiting because I got away from Portland, which is like rainy right now. It's it's got into that rainy season again, and cold. yeah, yeah. Oh. As soon, like like two days into it, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to Florida, and like I'm I'm surrounded by palm trees, by the beach, by the sun. It's just fantastic. Goodbye. Yeah. There, <laughs> you, I took a lot of the free time that I had here to spend time with God and to spend time in mindfulness meditation. Um, for me, like as a Christian, God is a huge, huge part of my life. And I think, at least for the way I've experienced it, God and mindfulness are inseparable. They're, they're kind of one in one. They go hand in hand. I think that Jesus talked a lot about mindfulness. He didn't talk about it super openly, like just explicitly, like this is mindfulness. Mm -hmm. But his teachings, a lot of the things that he talked about, mm -hmm. if you really think about it, if you really dig deep, He's really talking about practicing mindfulness. Yeah. I've read so many blogs, I've watched so many videos on it, like I'm reading books on it, mm -hmm. I'm implementing it into my life, and the positive effects are just incredible. I don't have to necessarily resort to drugs or you know Adderall or Ritalin or whatever people use to sort yeah. of you know tame down their anxiety or ADHD Which or whatever. Which is very it is. sad. Like it's a big concern nowadays. Like a lot of people have an anxiety. I have anxiety myself. 
um, but I'm dealing with it. You know, my anxiety was way worse uh, before I got into mindfulness. I yeah. started, I tapped into myself, started learning more about myself, discovering, and it was it was something I couldn't control. Now it's something that I can, I can mostly control, and it's it's not great. You know, it's it's awful. No. Having anxiety, <laughs> we not. like we who've had it, we know what it's like. You may have like a different degree of it. I may have a different degree of it, but we deal with it, and that's the most important thing is uh, we find a way yeah. to. Uh, cope with it. So definitely, you know, if, if you're interested in this, start sort of allocating time throughout the day, once a day, um, just to get into that headspace, just to clean things out. If anyone wants to find you on social media, where would they need to look? Um, Instagram is uh, primarily what I use, so just Shorty Gordy on Instagram. I'm also going to put the links in the description so you guys can check those out. And this guy, he's super talented, you guys. Not only <laughs> is he into personal development and has such a like wide range of knowledge about this, but he's also into filmmaking. He's also a hairdresser. He's also, um, um, what else do you do? Oh, he do sings, music. he plays yeah. uh, instruments. Yeah. It's I mean, we're great. all creatives, we all do. Like, yeah. you, you do music too. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we kind of like tend to you know, go into different directions. Yeah. No, it's people. fun for sure, yeah. I really want to get into hair more. I have a uh, certificate in that, and so I just want to kind of, you know, get out into the field and just kind of experiment more. I don't know, I'm a yeah. creative guy. I like, mean, just like imagine, yeah. imagine his clients after like this whole session of mindfulness, like, they're so <laughs> zen out when, they, get, when right. they walk out. And that's what I like to say a lot of the time. People come in not necessarily for a haircut or, you know, a, a service. They come in for a therapy session. Yeah, they, you know, they want to vent, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you guys liked it. Smash that subscribe button, hit like, comment below. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day. Peace.